can you believe it? Today is the last day of 2023. I better change the subject before this microphone gets all soggy. <laughs> That's a weird way to describe that. Welcome to the final video of the year. Happy New Year's Eve to everybody. Yeah, this is it. You've made it. We've made it. And we are here to celebrate together. I have bedhead because it's been a very long time since I've played on this island. Don't ask me how long it's been, but nevertheless, we are here and we're just gonna have a really fun and casual day on the island. And for the first time in Angry Coconut history, we're gonna be playing the New Year's event on camera. I have never done it on camera before, like I said. It's surprising because I would arguably say that the New Year's event is the best holiday in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And here we are right away starting off with an icon. Butterbean, whoa, I haven't seen you in forever. It's been like one whole month. Girl, at this point, you shouldn't be surprised. This is our routine now. <laughs> like, you j like, I come back after a month and we chit chat. So do you have anything you'd actually like to say to me? This weather is totally perfect. I gotta find a way to make the most of it. I could go for a jog. Or I could say that I'm going for a jog and then go home and do my couch potato thing. That's why she's my bestie. We are the same. That's exactly something I would do too. Oh my God, look at the plaza. I forgot that Tom Nook hangs out outside too. Oh my God, look at him looking dapper in that suit. They're all decked out. Like I wish every holiday was like this. Resident services is just completely closed. Isabel and Tom Nook are out celebrating. That would make it a lot more exciting. A few of us were starting to wonder where you got to. How you been? Oh my God, like. <laughs> They, these poor villagers, every time they get so surprised when it's like, I do this every time at this point, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be surprised. Dobie's here looking cute as hell. Do you have anything you'd like to say? Wow, Vis, you're looking pretty stylish right now. Oh, thank you, Grandpa. Oh my God, everybody just be complimenting me today. I love that. You know what? I got something to compliment the look you got going. Some trekking shoes. Are you telling me to take a hike? I'm not gonna read too much into it. Not on a day like today. He just wants me to look my best. I'm sure the intentions are pure, so I won't think too much of it. Black shoes? Interesting. I've never been one to go to Doby for fashion advice, so I don't know why I'm surprised that I'm not a fan of the choice. Hi, Melba. Everybody's just kind of hanging around on the island. It doesn't look like there's anything too major. So nice to see that the island is still intact for the most part. I don't really know what else to do. I really just kind of want to like take the day to just chill and just see what everybody's been up to. It's been, like I said, such a very long time since I've like properly played on Fallbrook. I don't know. I'm not really in a designing mood anymore. And as of right now, the only thing to do on Fallbrook is design. Are you stalking Lopez right now? Or am I reading too much into this? Why are you sat right in front of his house? It looks like he's hiding behind that tree and like staring into Lopez's window. Little, little island update though. Um, you know, just to change the subject. I ended up doing this little thing right over here with these vending machines. And yeah, I kind of changed this area around. I feel like this looks a lot nicer for the most part than what it was before. The only issue right now that I have is I have no idea what I want to do up here with this third cliff situation. I currently have this path running along down here to Teddy's house, and I don't know if I want to keep the cliff going or just have it end here, because if I have the cliff end here, it's like, what am I going to do with this space? I can't continue the cliff down because Agnes's house is there and I don't want to move it. I actually really like it. I could have it go there. But then I feel like this path would end up just looking really awkward because I wanted this path to kind of look out onto the bottom tiers. I don't know. Like I said, it's a lot of figuring out right now. And I just I really just want to like take some time with it instead of trying to rush an idea and just let the idea come to me naturally. That's why, I, like I said, <laughs> in terms of decorating and stuff, we're, we're taking a little pause. Yes, we are. We're taking a pause today. You know what? It, I'm currently doing it right now, and it's been a really long time <laughs> since I've properly done it. Like, we could just dig up all the diggable items on the island today. Something that I haven't really done on Fallbrook in a while because I've already completed the fossil set and I have a lot of money, so 
There's no need for me to go around and look for fossils and stuff, but <gasps> snowman. Oh my God. And they spawned in a cute spot. Wait, 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 wait. We could build a snowman. Why is the other snowball all the way over there? Interesting. Wait, we could do a snowman. That could be fun. We can just like have a nice little cute snow day. Full transparency, I am pre-recording right now, so it's not actually New Year's. Um, This is still my first time playing winter this year on the island. I know for a fact that I will be time traveling back and playing the rest of the month off camera on my own. So this snowman is about to go through a weird time loop. It's about to travel back in time after I build it. All right, let's grab the other snowman though. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I built actually no it's not I'm lying because <laughs> y'all already saw the nook tits video the nook tits video was going out before this I built the snowman in that video too yeah so I don't I don't need to be lying everything that happened in the nook tits video we already know here we go it's so tiny but I'm sure it has a nice personality giving 90% to a project is one way to go sure but that extra effort takes you to the pro snow circuit and now I really want to see you on the pro snow circuit well I don't want to be on the pro snow circuit so mind your business. Exactly. Be grateful that you made that I made you instead. I gave you life. But yeah, can we talk about that last video? Um, if you didn't watch it, major spoiler. I found Biscuit <laughs> in a villager hunt, just like on a random on the spur moment. I found Biscuit. I actually managed to find him. And just like that, like one of my long term Animal Crossing goals of finding all my dreamies is done. It's crazy. Like four years this game's almost been out for. There's still things that are happening in the game that get me excited. Things like that. So, you know, like I said, that's kind of a fun thing about taking things slow and steady. I'm not really like if I really wanted to, I could have just been on like a thousand villager hunts by now, a thousand more than I've already been on to like find Biscuit in the thing. But I just let it happen happened naturally and it made the it just made the whole thing a lot more exciting you know I know that is the mindset and that's something that I normally complain about in Animal Crossing how slow and steady the game feels sometimes but in some ways I guess it does pay off because you know because I took my time finding Biscuit I was able to just find him randomly and it was fun and great. I don't know what I just said there. I'm I'm kind of just speaking right now. All right, we need to finish catching up with my villagers though, because there's still a bunch that we haven't seen yet. Starting off with the icons on the beach, Margie and Whitney. What are they even up to? Margie, oh my God. And she was standing right in front of the entrance. She was waiting for me. She knew I was coming over. Butterbean, it's been what, what? One month maybe? You seem different, I think. A little more grown up. I don't feel like I've changed at all. I mean, yeah, it's only been a month, like a month, 30 days. It really isn't that long in the grand scheme of things. Y'all are so dramatic. I live for that. Will you be at the plaza for the countdown? I hope so. I'm going to do my best to stay up so I can greet the new year, but I may need some coffee to do it. So true. So true. It's kind of funny, though, because for me now, like staying up until 12 a.m., not really a big deal at my age. 12 a.m. is like nothing for me anymore. It's so funny. When I was a kid, it was like staying up until 12 a.m. was like such a big deal. And now at my ripe age of 24, I'm just like, if I want to stay up at 12 a.m., like, yeah, I'll do that. I usually stay up until 12 a.m. anyways. Like right now, it's currently 10 p.m. <laughs> I'm recording this video late at night and I'm probably going to finish around 12. Oh my God, Miss Whitney. Miss Whitney out here in the t-shirt dress with the coffee staring at a photo of Melba. Still haven't changed that photo yet. Don't judge me. Oh my, now here's a face I haven't seen in quite some time. It's only been a month. I know y'all saw the Nook Tits video already. So like you saw me talk about music in that video. And then I said, oh, Friday, December 15th, SZA is definitely gonna release Lana. It's December 15th and she didn't. Hooray for that. But yeah, in terms of like music in general, it's the final video of the year and I'm a big fan of music as we all know. I guess I wanted to share like some album recommendations because a lot of people tend to ask. It's so funny when I see people ask me for like music recommendations in the comments and stuff. I feel like now is a great time to just go over Angry Coconut's favorite albums of the year. I'm a gaming YouTuber 
but I'm still gonna take the opportunity to talk about music. My favorite album of 2023, Fountain Baby by Anna Marie. 100% like I'm gonna go with that as my album of the year. It is subject to change because last year in 2022, you know, like December of 2022, I was like 100% a Renaissance fan. Renaissance by Beyonce, one of my favorite albums of the year. But then like first half of this year, I really, really fell in love with Ethel Kane. And as we all know, I am a big fan of Ethel Kane and I was a huge fan of Preacher's Daughter in 2022, but I would have said that it was like a top three album. But now, that it's been a whole year since 2022. I'm like Ethel Kane's Preacher's Daughter, best album of 2022. So 2023's album is subject to change, but as of right now though, it's definitely Amore's. It's such a great project. Oh my God, Maximum, how dare you? If you think you can just jitterbug up to me after disappearing like that, well, you can. Folks on this island are free to come and go all willy nilly, just as they please. Okay, wow, I love that we just went through like 20 emotions with Wolfgang. You look healthy, take care, all right. Oh my God, Wolfgang out here like being nice to me? Damn, Wolfgang, hmm, that's all I have to say about that. But yeah, in terms of like music, other albums that really spoke to me this year, uh, definitely Caroline's album, Desire I Wanna Turn Into You. That's another album of the year contender for me. It really was between those two, Fountain Baby and Desire. I just, I don't know, there's just something about Fountain Baby though, just like the overall vibe, the aesthetics, and just like, you know, there's a lot of trumpets. I love trumpets in an album. Her album to me felt more exciting to listen to. Like it's an album that I'm willing to listen to every single day of the week. Caroline's, I have to be in like a specific mood in order to fully enjoy it. So I think that's why Amore's album definitely takes the cake. But what other albums are there that I really, really enjoyed this year? Definitely The Record by Boy Genius. That's another one. Uh, Jaguar 2 by Victoria Monet. That's another one. Starfucker by Slater. Yep, I praised that album already. Oh my God, and Starfucker Deluxe, it came out recently. James Dean is 100% Slater's best song. Why is this balloon taking forever to get over here? BB Angel by Tanache, that's another good one. Guts by Olivia. I I have to say it, like Olivia's album was so good. I saw it get so much hate, but I will defend that album with my life. It's a good album for what it is. Chapel Roan though. I think for me has a really good album. She's opening for Olivia right now on tour. So that's why it came to mind. But the rise and fall of the Midwest princess, another really good pop record. And speaking of pop records, I would say my favorite pop record, like just like straight up pop record, not like any kind of experimental vibes. Like Emma Ray's album is pretty poppy and same with Caroline's, but I would consider those more like experimental or like alternative. As for like a plain pure pop album, for me, it's definitely, I would say Loveliest Time by Carly. Carly Rae Jepsen. She did that. She did that a hundred percent. What other albums? There was, there was a lot, like, it's so weird because I remember thinking that 2023 was like kind of a boring year for music, but like looking back, it was actually a pretty good year. Lots of good albums. I talked about the Grammys, but even <laughs> the Grammys, I was like praising. I'm like, oh my God, all these people got nominations. One thing that I forgot to mention though, like quickly, let me just say, SZA and Victoria Monet getting a lot of nom nominations and Phoebe Bridgers and Boy Genius as well. That was perfect for me because I'm stands of all three of them. But I think the biggest shock about the Grammys was that Ray Renee Rapp and Pink Panthers not getting any nominations was shocking to me, but especially Ray with My 21st Century Blues. If not My 21st Century Blues, Escapism. Escapism was one of the biggest hits of the year. One of the biggest hits, and it was such a great song. The fact that it didn't get nominated for Song of the Year or Record of the Year, I just had to quickly share that because I forgot to mention it in the last video. I'm currently wandering around the island, and um, usually when I get to this point, it, it's time to time travel. We caught up with the villagers. We chatted Earth shit. Let's, let's get into the juice, the nitty gritty, the thing we're all here for. It is time for the New Year's Eve event. Let's time travel to like an hour before just so like we can really, really see. Cause you know, an event on Fallbrook, it's an event to watch out for. Let's just say that. I really hope my villagers try it during this event. Hello everyone. Please come celebrate the countdown with us to ring in the new year. It's the final hour on Fallbrook. We might as well just head down there right now. Oh, this is so exciting. I, like I said, the New Year's event to me is definitely one of my favorite events in the game. It's just so cute. Cute 
events like these are just so fun. It's a nice way to like celebrate your, with your villagers. They're all just like hanging around. Dobie, no, why are you over here? Oh no, Dobie and Wolfgang are trapped. Oh crap, wait, no, we need to solve this right now. I don't have a bridge currently, but for the time being, let me just quickly build like a little land bridge so that the boys can get over perfectly. I am so sorry, I should have done this sooner. Oh, I know they were stressed, I know they were, but at least I saved the day. All right, we are headed over to the plaza. I can't wait to see everybody in their cute outfits. There better be people at the plaza because I saw three people. Ooh, Poppy. Poppy with a tail coat looking dapper as hell. Tonight's the New Year's countdown in the plaza. I can't wait to say hi to the new year with everybody. So true, Poppy. So true. Isabel and Tom Nook out here serving looks. And I am currently wearing this. Ooh, we need to change that. No, I can't be showing up to the plaza looking like this. I can't believe I even let Poppy see me like that. We gotta, we gotta do something about this. Hold on, hold on. Everybody is gonna be serving looks, so I might as well join them. We gotta get like the perfect New Year's outfit. First things first, we gotta get our New Year's hat on. I think I'm obviously gonna rock the blue. We'll use this as our inspiration. Uh, let's start off with the accessories. I definitely, definitely need to wear these neon shades. Now in terms of what I actually want to wear, like we have this gray suit coat. I mean, gray is not really a color that I would normally wear, but it's cute for what it is. This career jacket could be fun though. Maybe this sweater vest. I do like the sweater vest. It's very retro. That could be a fun look. Maybe I could wear the tailored jacket. That could be really cool. But if I'm gonna wear the tailored jacket, I think I would rather wear the yellow or the green hat instead. I think the green hat would look a lot better. Ooh, the embellish. Ooh, see, this is kind of a look. Very like rocker, if you will. Yeah, this is the final video of the year for me. It's just me in here trying to figure out an outfit. Is this the content y'all live for? I don't care. Like I said, it's the final video. I've been really out here making videos. Girl, I'm still recovering from <laughs> that Pokemon video. Oh God, that was so long. Um, so I just wanted to end the year off with something a little more casual. I think it's what we deserve. We all deserve something just super chill, something that you can just put on in the background. Not something that you really want to like think about while watching. It's the holidays still. It's winter break. We're gonna start school soon. I am at least. So yeah, like I said, just wanted to take things casual. I'm also trying so hard right now not to like really talk about Pokemon because I really do want to talk about Pokemon. But obviously I don't want to spoil it, spoil it because I know not everybody's finished the pack yet. But I will leave off on one note. Kieran's storyline as a whole in Indigo Disc I approve. I really enjoyed it. And I also approve this outfit. I think this is definitely the vibes. Ooh, actually, let me see. Do I have like any cute handheld items that I can have as well? Like we should definitely get the tweeter. We need the champagne glass. That's what I'm coming for. The champagne glass, 100%. But for the whole night tonight, baby, I'm gonna be getting crunk in game, not in real life. We're not doing another drunk video. Oh my God, speaking of drunk stories, I don't think I shared this, but that video that I filmed where I got drunk that same weekend, I ended up going to a friend's birthday party and getting even more drunk than I did in that video. It was so embarrassing. I shared this post to my Instagram. We went to the club, we went to cruise, and I saw Aurora Matrix there performing. And this was in September before she was on Drag Race. Teddy's home. Actually, I think that's probably a good thing. If Teddy's home, I don't think we should be seen at the plaza together because I will square up. I'm still mad at it. But yeah, I ended up getting so drunk that the next day I had my first hangover. Um, so that was neat. That hangover was enough to just not ever get super drunk again. So there's that for me. Woo, last day of the year. You all set for the countdown tonight? I am pumped, Groof. Good for you. New year, new beginnings. I really think I need to tackle this house. It's been a, it's been a long time since that event, I think it's time. I think we're, we should be able to move on from that. Don't tell me you were planning a new startup without me. What did I say? Always come to me first. You have never said that. And even if you did, even if you did, 
Why the hell would I come to you? I'll forgive you for a cut of the profits. Now you're trying to get my money. Now you're trying to get my money. This is him trying to get money from me. Hell no, don't cheers to that. Come back here. Let's have a proper conversation. Can't you just feel the tension in the air? Tension by Kylie Minogue. That was another good album. A whole new year is about to begin. I can't wait to forget what year it is for like a whole month. I'm stupid. You sure are. Yes, you are. Wolfgang and Doby, I guess it looks like they just want to do their own little shindag over here in the woods. Hi. You're like literally hidden in here. Well, the year's just about over. One more big event to get fired up for. The countdown. I've seen this happen a million times before, but for some reason I still get goosebumps every time. Same. Like I said, they really outdid themselves with the new year event in this game. I do really enjoy it. Where's Wolfgang? Hello? He was here, right? There's a bottle. Wait, more importantly, we got a bottle right here. Who do we think this bottle is from? Three, two, one. Sprinkle. This was the final bottle of the year. <laughs> By the way, oh my god, Sprinkle, the final bottle sender of 2023 in Angry Coconut history. Wolfgang, hello. Well, the year's just about over. One more big event to get fired up for the count. He's saying the exact same thing as Dobie. We are going to pretend like that never happened. Where are my girls? Where are the girls point blank? How come all the guys are out and about? Um, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to have a bros night tonight. No, 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 please don't tell me Whitney and Margie are home. Whitney's home. Margie's not home though. <gasps> Melba, Melba's out here with Gonzo and they're both looking dapper as ever. We all thought you up and did a runner on us. Wow, do you really think I would abandon this island like that again, Gonzo? That's what you think of me? And he is saying the exact same thing as Dobie and Wolfgang as well. Wow, I love having three crankies. Ooh, these two are having like a little thing on the beach. Oh, the final day of the year for them. It's finally New Year's Eve. I'm so excited. I can't sit still. Oh my God. You guys don't have to be shy about it. Like you can still hang out. Gonzo and I will walk away. We'll give you space. Come on, Gonzo. Let's leave. <laughs> we need to leave them alone right now. Agnes, where is Agnes? Hold on. Don't tell me Agnes is home too. Agnes is home too. No, we can't have this. I need to time travel again. I'm going to time travel a few more minutes because I have to celebrate New Year's with my friends. Whitney, Margie, and Agnes have to be there. They have to be there 100%. Oh, whoa. Oh my God, look how crowded it is. Why is Lopez wearing those glasses? I really can't believe I gave those glasses to Lopez as a joke and he really took it and flipped it around and he made that his brand. That is so John Tucker goaded. Oh my God, like literally John Tucker, everything they threw at him, he was able to persevere and benefit from it. That's what Lopez did with those glasses. He embraced those glasses and wears them everywhere now. Did y'all see that? Like, have y'all noticed that? Every single formal event on the island ever since I gave him those glasses, he wore them. He wore them. He just wears them. He wore them to my birthday. Lopez, as much as I hate him, like I have to give it to him. He, he really is someone who won't take bullshit from anybody. And like I said, I really respect that Agnes. Oh my God, with the flapper dress, she is serving looks. All's well that ends well, as they say. I don't want to end 2023 with any regrets. So I'm partying all night. Yes, girl, you and me, were getting lit tonight, babes. <gasps> Margie's out. Margie's out too with the dress. But Whitney, Whitney decided to stay home. Oh, okay. I'm not going to force her to come out. Don't worry, Whitney. If you feel like staying home tonight, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna get too mad at you. Oh my God, Agnes is staring down Gonzo. Did y'all see that dead stare? She's still going, oh my God. She is staring his ass down and she's staring Melba's ass down too. Oh my God, Miss Agnes. One thing about Agnes, she's always got that resting bitch face going for her and I respect that. I'm sorry, are we really doing this again? Lopez and Melba are in the plaza together and Poppy once again chickening out and not going there because he doesn't want no drama between them. I'm sorry, but do y'all not remember on my birthday the things that were going on between Poppy and Lopez? Something tells me I need to be sus. Oh my gosh, Isabel, are you gonna give me something or are you just gonna talk to me? I don't mind just talking to you. Oh, she's giving me a present. It's a light stick. Oh, I already have a light stick, but thank you anyways, I'll accept the gift. Wolfgang. Wolfgang looking. Oh my God. Me and Wolfgang, we got the dress code down. We're both out here in our glasses. See me and Wolfgang. 
Despite our differences, we really are always in sync. Whoa, what happened to my hat? He had a hat on too? Oh my God, he's wearing a hat. Wait, the balloon is covering it. Don't know what I'd do without you, kiddo. Wait, I actually do. I would have forgotten my dang hat. He's wearing a blue one. I'm wearing a green hat. He's wearing a blue one. I'm wearing his favorite color and he's wearing my favorite color. Look at us, like we are literally kind of in sync right now, aren't we? Like we got the glasses, we got the hats on. Oh my God, like look at that. Even like when we aren't talking as much as we are, we're still, we're still in sync and I can respect that. But why, why are you here with Lopez? What's going on here? Congratulations, you just got invited to my hat. He just heard me talking about hats with Wolfgang and now he's out here talking about hats and he's gonna change into a hat too. Oh, oh my God. If I talk to everybody, are they gonna change into hats? I see you're ready to celebrate. I should put my hat on too. Oh, wait, that's cute. If I actually talk to everybody, will they put hats on? Are you gonna put a hat on? I'm totally gonna copy you. My impact, my impact, everybody following my lead because I'm wearing a hat, everybody else is wearing their hats too. Oh my God, yes. Margie, come on girl, put your hat on too, please. All ready to go? I guess I should get ready too. Yes! Yes, Margie girl with the blue hat. Who's left? There's one more villager left, isn't there? Doby, Doby, please put your hat on, babes. Gotta get my head on my head ASAP. Yes, we all got here with our hats on. Tom Nook's got his hat on too. Look at us. Look at us all here, ready to celebrate. The gang, the gang is mostly here. Poppy and Whitney are currently missing, but that's okay. That's okay, someone else is missing too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, who else is missing? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven villagers. Whitney and Poppy are eight and nine. Then who's who's number 10? Wait, who else is missing? Who's villager number 10? Wait, wait, I'm actually, wait, what? Teddy. Oh my God, how did I completely forget about Teddy and I was just at his house? Has Teddy outgrown angry coconut lore? And has Teddy outgrown Fallbrook? Ooh, cause I mean like we're all just kind of here right now, hanging, doing our thing and nobody seems to really care about Teddy right now. He's had his time to shine on Eld New. He did his thing here and completely ruined it. Much to think about, much to think about indeed. Oh my God, Poppy, you're in here all decked out once again. That's a real great hat, baby. Super festive, check mine out too. Oh, and he got his hat on too. Yes, wait, we gotta go remind Whitney then. I gotta go tell Whitney to put her hat on too. I wish all 10 villagers would join you, but I guess it, it has like something to do with the technical things like the game spawning, I don't know, something like that. It would probably break the game if all 10 villagers were on your plaza right now, but I wish everybody was there. Oh, it's such a shame that Whitney and Poppy aren't out with us, but maybe they're doing their own thing. Who knows? Maybe Whitney's just FaceTiming her home. Oh, and she looks amazing in the blue dress with the pearls. And she's got her purple hat on too. Now we can be matchy matchy as we ring in the new year. Oh my God, girl, we need to have a photo shoot right now. Hold one, smile for the camera right now. Looking this iconic. I cannot let this outfit go to waste. Hold on, hold on. Let me get in the frame. Girl, look at the camera, pose. Yes. Look at us two icons. Like, I cannot let this outfit go to waste. Whitney, you look amazing tonight. God, I love Whitney so much. Oh my God, I'm so grateful that she's on this island. Can we talk about the fact that I've had this island for two years and Whitney, Agnes, and Margie, and Wolfgang have all been here since the beginning. Melba was here at the beginning too, but then she left. But Whitney, Agnes, and Margie, the girls, they have been here through thick and thin, through all the drama. And so has Wolfgang. The island in general, like, ugh, the fact that this time last year, the island looked completely different. Like this whole area that I'm currently walking in didn't exist at all. Like it was all a completely different entrance. And now it looks like this and you know, it's winter time and obviously there won't be any more construction, but just, I really hope that this time next year, um, the island will end up looking even more finished and full and amazing. I really hope as well that this time next year, we get an announcement for a new 
Nintendo console. Like imagine if this time next year holiday season there's a brand new there's a brand new Nintendo console. That would be so crazy. And imagine if there was a brand new Animal Crossing game. Cuz like I said my theory still stands that Animal Crossing might be a title track. Title track? A starting game? What is it? Launch title. That's what it's called. <laughs> Oh my god. I have no idea where I'm gonna be next year this time too. Last year this time, I was living at my parents' house. I was like, I think I only had about like maybe like 60k, 70k, and now I'm out here with 100k. And this time next year, I'm gonna be done school. I'm gonna be, you know, post-grad student. That's gonna be over for me. Oh god. Only, like one can only imagine where they'll be. I didn't think I was gonna be here right now. A year, a year ago, I didn't think I was going to be living on my own, doing my own thing, living it up with a 100K plaque right behind me. Who knows? I don't think I'm going to hit 200K this time next year, though. Girl, I'm going to be honest. Like, I know that's not going to be a thing, but I really hope that, like, YouTube is more comforting and exciting. I have a lot of video ideas and video plans in general. I 100% I will say in January streaming, I will definitely be getting back to it. Sims, I have a Sims Let's Play in mind that I would love to do on stream as well. Roblox, Mario Kart. I wanna play Mario Kart with y'all. Like everybody, every time I post a Mario Kart video requests that they wanna play Mario Kart with me and we're definitely gonna be doing that on stream. Same with Roblox. I wanna play Roblox with y'all too. Imagine all of us, imagine Angry Coconut nation doing roblox total drama island that would be a gag that would be a gag it would a hundred percent or like fashion famous oh a hundred percent like those are all ideas that i have hi oh my god oh hi oh hi what's up once again it's just about time kiddo we both got our hats on so there's nothing left to do but wait uh-huh yeah oh okay oh why are, why are you staring what do you want? Excuse me. Just when I thought I was the most dashing deer around here, you show up. Uh, let's not get into this right now. Wait, you're not a deer at all. It's still me. I'm stupid. Yes, you are. Yes, you are indeed. But it, okay, like him trying to compliment me. Of course, that will never end. That will never end at all with him. The island sure is rocking now, kiddo. Can you feel it? Oh, okay. Same dialogue as... Wolfgang. And uh, let me guess, are you gonna say the same thing as Dobie and Wolfgang? We're here with our hats on. Let's get this thing started already. I need to get myself off to bed, baby. I mean, like all there really is left to do now is just wait, there's only 15 minutes left. I would just time travel to like the 10 minute mark, but I'm really happy with the crew of villagers that are out right now and I don't want things to change. Yes, I'm sad that Whitney and Poppy aren't here, but like Margie and Dobie are here and they're doing whatever they're doing. Lopez is staring Melba down. Ooh, wonder what that's all about. Agnes, my besties here. Gonzo's here as well, Gonzo and Dobie. If Whitney and Margie aren't here, at least our old grandpas are here together. That we can applaud. Wolfgang is here too. Honestly, Wolfgang, I will be honest. Kind of happy to see you here. I'm not even gonna lie. Especially now that Teddy's not here. Like, I'm kind of happy that we get to hang out today. I need to get myself off to bed, buddy. Oh my God. Uh, can the cranky villagers come up with anything else, please? Agnes, why do you keep staring at Melba too? Why is everybody interested in Melba today? What is going on? I love the whole end of the year vibe with New Year's Eve, don't you? Sometimes I think I'd love it every night if it was this thrilling, but I guess that could be too much excitement. All right, girl, we got to get some photos in right now. Let's get the whole gang. Hopefully we're all in frame right now, this like top down angle. Should I like pose with someone specifically? Nah, hold on. I really need to make sure that my photos aren't full yet because we had this mistake last time. Let's not do it again. Let's delete some of my old photos. Oh my God, major, major throwback right now. These are all old photos from my first island in the game. Oh my God, wait, these are literally the first photos I took in the game. Wait, whoa, I did not expect to see these right now. Memory lane, wait, we gotta do memory lane right now. Here's the first ever Angry Coconut character. This was the first game, first island I had on March 20th, 2020. Here were my first two starters. I named the island Window. This is not the window that I had on YouTube. This is the first rendition. Oh my God. And like, look at all of this. This was literally like the first day of Animal Crossing New Horizons. <gasps> do y'all remember this? When people would post their photos being like, Oh my God, got all my things ready. Can't wait for the museum to upgrade. Everyone was posting their shit on Reddit. 
Oh my God, this specifically is what everybody would post. And then we have Alfonso and we have all oh, the Brown Museum. RIP to the Brown Museum. I wish this museum was still in the game. This one is so cute. Oh, and my first like little decorating corner thing I made with this kitchen. Oh, I was about to delete some of these photos, but maybe I shouldn't. I really like them. These were my starting 10 villagers on the island when I first started. It was all these lovely people right over here. Oh, and here is like the first map. Oh my God. This is what my island looked like after like, I would say a month of playing. Yeah, almost a month. I have 10,000 photos in Animal Crossing. I don't want to talk about it. Wolfgang, what was that? What was that? He like came up to me like he was about to say something and then he just walked away. And now he won't even look at me. Sir, hello. How long to go now? It's a whole new year, kiddo. Guess we should start thinking resolutions. Of course, I can't even remember what I resolved to do this year. He wants to think of a better future with me. What does that mean? Oh, oh. And he just like shoved Lopez out of the way there too. Oh, the new year will come whether or not we're wearing New Year's hats, but this way it'll be much more fun. Mm hmm. The moment you put on your special countdown hat, you've entered party mode. But be careful. Say some party for the actual event. I'm stupid. Just five minutes left to write 2023 on all your checks, kiddo. What do you mean? What's a check? <laughs> oh my god, here we go. The countdown is about to start, and I kind of need a bathroom break. Hang in there, Doby. We're gonna make it. Grandpa, please, you forgot your diaper at home. Why aren't you wearing it right now? Peepaw, no. He's gonna pee pee in his pants. 2023 really flew by so quickly. Yeah, because I time traveled through most of the year. Of course, I say that every year. You say the same thing every day, girl. I'm not surprised by that at all. Oh my god, they're like all amped right now. They're all so excited, and Tom Nook is still out out here trying to get that bag. Two minutes until the New Year's and this man is still out here trying to make some money. Like girl, don't you already have enough of that? I'll take some party poppers regardless because I just remembered I don't actually have some. But like Tom Nook is dedicated to getting that bag. Even at his rich self worth right now, he's still willing to do it. And I respect that. Do we have any like last minute confessions that we'd like to make before the year ends? Things that we're excited for, things that we're thankful for from this year i mean i'm thankful for youtube i'm thankful for y'all watching i will say that like genuinely this was a good year it really was for me there were ups there were downs but i've managed to make through and that's really all that matters i'm still here i'm still alive and well and hopefully y'all had a great year despite the ups and downs like i said you made it we're here we're celebrating together it's the final minute of 2023 oh my god look at all us all of us standing here together mere seconds until the new year begins here we go kiddo oh my god me agnes margie and wolfgang we're all standing right over here we gotta keep the party going in the new year butterbean margie quick talk to me the new year's almost gone don't go 2023 stay a bit longer oh my god lopez wait in 30 seconds we need to talk to everybody here i'm stupid there's only one minute left the new year is like two product placements away oh my god 20 seconds 20 seconds grandpa's talk to me mere seconds till the new year the year's almost here don't go 2023 they're saying the same dialogue why am i talking to them oh my god oh my god here we go here we go 10 oh don't talk to lopez don't talk to lopez no 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 <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Why is Lopez standing next to Wolfgang? I'm standing next to Wolfgang. Why are you standing next to fireworks? Happy New Year. May this year hold exciting adventures for us all. Oh my god, this is pretty. Wow! Yeah! And just like that, bitch, we about to get crunk right now. Wolfgang, happy new year. 12 fresh new months for us to make the most of it. Oh my God, he's the first person I talked to in the brand new year. Yes, yes. Happy new year. We got a whole new year ahead of us. So let's get hyped, Crumple. Let's get hyped tomorrow and let's get crunk right now, girl. Oh my God. Oh my God, where's my champagne glass? Girl, let's get lit, woo!
It's officially a new year. Oh my God, the fireworks, the way, like this camera angle right over here, the way everybody's dancing right now. Hold on, girl, we gotta take some photos. We gotta take some photos stat. Let's just prop the camera right over here. And like, we'll just like take photos of everybody who comes in the way. Oh my God, Mia Margie and Wolfgang, yeah. Oh, I just blocked her out of the camera. <gasps> Wolfgang, hi, happy new year. Woo, I just smashed that glass right in his head. Look at the camera, look at the camera. Bam. Oh my God, me and Isabel, we gotta take a photo with the girl bot. Oh no, Wolfgang's posed perfectly, hi. Yes, yes. Grandpa, grandpa, quick, we gotta take photos. We gotta take photos together. Grandpas, both my grandpas are here together. D Gonzo, you popped that the wrong way. Oh my God, Wolfgang getting back in frame. Wolfgang, hello. Oh my God, he wants to be in all the photos tonight. <gasps> Me and my grandpas. Oh my God, the balloon strings in the way. Get the fuck out of that frame right now. Thank you. Thank you for walking away. Oh my God, come on, Wolfgang. No, Wolfgang, please, please, please. Let's take some more photos right now. Oh my God, look at him, look at him. He is so happy right now. Isabel over here serving looks. Margie, Agnes, wait, we Agnes, please. We gotta take some photos together. Oh my God, yes, me and the girls, woo. <laughs> yes. Come on, Agnes, Agnes, please, girl. We gotta take some photos, woo. Oh, Dobie's in the way. Dobie, excuse me, stop photo bombing. I'm trying to take a photo with my best friend. Agnes, don't you dare walk away. Don't you dare walk away. We need to take one photo together. Come on, like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, no, girl. All right, look at us. Woo, oh, that's, no, that was like the perfect shot. That was the perfect shot. What do you mean I ran out of space? Okay, Agnes, please, once again. Yeah, okay, that's a good photo too, thank God. Oh, another good photo. Okay, come on. Woo, that's the shot. Okay, that's the shot we're ending off with. Ugh, that was beautiful. Ooh. Oh, man, oh man. The sunrise on New Year's, absolutely gorgeous. Let's ignore red ship for the time being, but yeah, I just wanted to end off the video looking at the sunrise because this is easily like the best day in the game. Oh, and it must look even cooler in the Southern Hemisphere when it's summertime with the greens. Ah, oh, I love the sunrises in this game. Honestly, they just look so amazing. It's a brand new year here on Fallbrook and the rest of the world as well. Happy New Year to everybody. I just, I'm not gonna make any long-term wishes, but I do hope we have somewhat have a good year. I hope nothing too crazy happens. Drag Race premieres this week. Drag Race season 16, when this video goes out. That's something to look forward to. Oh, I'm so excited. Stan Ninfia win, 100%. That's who I'm rooting for. Thanks for watching this video. Like I said, just kind of wanted to keep things a little more casual. Oh my God, Teddy, hi. You wanna talk to me right now? Don't tell me that's a pipe. You want my pipe? That's how we're starting off the brand new year. I'm sorry, you want my pipe? You're gonna trade a t-shirt for my pipe? He was wearing that t-shirt on the lock screen too, mind you. He was just wearing that. That's how you want to start the new year. I'm still in my new year's getup. And he like, no, hi, hello, how's it going? No, happy new year, it's 2024. Oh my God. Just immediately wanting something from my pockets. He literally took one of my items from me. Like, wow, and that's a useful item too. I used that pipe and I was willing to give it to him. Things between me and Teddy are definitely changing this year. Let me make note of that right now. Margie, oh, bright up and early in that Renaissance dress, getting to work, crafting. Miss Margie is starting her goals right away. Happy, happy new year to you, Butterbean. Can't wait to share it with you. I can't wait to share it with you too, Margie. Oh my God, what is she crafting? The first recipe of the brand new year. I'm currently crafting an illuminated present. Ooh, Butterbean, wanna learn how to make your own? I don't have the recipe for that. Oh my God, I'm actually getting a brand new recipe on the first day of the new year. Wow, Margie, thank you so much. I genuinely didn't expect that. Oh my God. <laughs> but yes, to properly end off the video because I don't wanna leave it on that weird note with Teddy. Happy new year. Happy times. <laughs> I don't know. 
thanks for being here in general. Thanks for just watching me. Like I said, 2023 was a really, really great year for me in general. I wouldn't change really anything about it. I just hope 2024 is just as good. I'm not expecting an amazing year by any means, but I'm still excited regardless. I'm always hopeful for a new year. So hopefully we all have a safe and happy new year, whatever you're planning to do today. Hope it's fun. Hope it's memorable. Hope it's not dangerous. Don't be stupid on this day of all days, especially if you're drinking. Don't drink and drive. Um, In terms of the channel, be on the lookout for a lot of exciting videos in general. Hope you'll join me on this adventure. And with that, woo, I ran out of screenshot space again. Are you fucking...